Halibut Point State Park is on the northeast tip of Cape Ann in Rockport, Massachusetts. From it, you can see Mount Agamenicus in Maine and the Isles of Shoals off the coast of New Hampshire. It is a beautiful place with trails, tide pools, vegetation, and wildlife. It has trees, wildflowers, and a variety of birds, including loons, ducks, and puffin. It is a small quarry, but the only quarry in the Cape Ann region. Cape Ann was part of the Avalon terrain and is the third most active geological place in the country. It has 32 known fault lines from the Anasquam River. There have been 26 known earthquakes, including in 1755, the Cape Ann earthquake, which was felt all the way in Europe. Work in the Babson Farm Quarry area didn't begin until the 1840s. Cutting the granite was done by hand by the workers. They often used oxen to hoist and transport the stone and to powder the pumps. In the late 1850s, they replaced the oxen with steam engines and they did the job. In the 1880s, steam-powered drills made a huge change in the industry. This made it easier for the workers to cut larger granite blocks and remove them more efficiently. Around 1910, hand tools powered by air compressors were introduced. You can see the remains of railroad tracks around the quarry today. The Babson Farm Quarry was purchased by the Rockport Granite Company in 1910 and stopped operating in 1929. The quarrymen that worked here had a variety of tools that they often used. The dog hole drill was used to create dog holes. Dog holes were single round holes in the face of pieces of granite. The holes supported hooks called dogs and were suspended by cables. Dead men held the cables in place. Another tool they used were called tracers. These were used for scoring granite. Wedges and half rounds were used to split blocks of granite squarely into the right size. Other tools they used were hammers, which were the most important tool, used to plug drills for drilling holes and blocks, and spoons to remove dust from the bottom of a hole being made. There were also different types of marks on the stone that you will see. Turned stones are cylinder-shaped pieces of granite Blasting holes are made with handheld drills and are long holes in granite. Drill holes are holes made from hitting the rock with the chisel in order to make holes. The Cape Ann Quarrymen were a big part of the granite industry. They were usually immigrants from Britain, Finland, Sweden, and Italy. They were skilled stone cutters, and many homes, buildings, and businesses they created are still here today. These pictures were taken while they were working at the quarries. These workers were employed by the Rockport Granite Company, which was founded in 1864 and at the time was the area's largest employer. It operated and ran over a dozen quarries in the Cape Ann region. The quarry is made of sheets of 440 million year old granite. It was quarried here at the turn of the 20th century and it has been used to pave roads, build buildings, and build monuments. A type that is here is tourmaline, which is a pink granite from Maine, and it is very dense. The rock waste from the past is spread out over 20 yards and there are many grout piles around the quarry. Grow piles are mountains of waste granite pieces dumped over a period of years. In the 1840s up until now, granite was quarried from this area. The glaciers have shaped the rock since the last ice age. The rock has uplifted since then and you can see the scrapes on the sedimentary rock. The rock is also very bumpy, which means that sharp or pointy areas on the glacier have moved over it in the past. Water also comes through the soil into the rock and you can see it coming out of the sides going into the quarry.